Imagine having your own personal business coach that can show you how to do things like make more money, improve your business strategy going forward, or even show you how to work fewer hours in your business every single week. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do those things and more using ChatGPT and some advanced prompts. Now, what makes them advanced is you're gonna go beyond just the average type of prompt that everyone teaches. And you're gonna ask ChatGPT to give you insights, analysis, feedback, ideas for your specific business by using powerful business frameworks. Here are a few examples of exactly how this works. And these are examples of things that I do in my business with ChatGPT and this advanced prompting with business frameworks. So let's say you wanna grow your email list, but you have no idea what kind of lead magnet to create. Well, you can ask ChatGPT to use Alex Hermosi's $100 million leads lead magnet creation framework. That's a mouthful. To give you like five awesome lead magnet ideas in a matter of seconds. Or maybe you wanna go into a new market in your business or create a new offer in the business. Something that really stands out from your competitors is innovative and can boost your profitability. Well, you could ask ChatGPT to use the blue ocean strategy to extract super useful insights and ideas that are extremely relevant and specific to your business and to your audience. Or maybe you've lost sight of your overall business and you want to do an analysis of the business to figure out where what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, what your opportunities are. Well, you could ask ChatGPT to do a SWOT analysis, SWOT analysis on your business and get amazing insight and feedback about your specific business. And don't worry, you don't have to know every detail about the framework in order to use it in your prompt. You just need to know enough to use it appropriately to get answers to the types of questions that you have about your business. And as I'll show you a little bit later on in the video, ChatGPT can explain what the framework is to you. And later in the video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. But ChatGPT, if you ask it, it will explain these complex business frameworks to you in really simple terms. So by guiding ChatGPT with established business frameworks, it's one way to extract this whole other advanced level of help from ChatGPT about your specific business's strategy. The insights that you can uncover and the opportunities that are identified can be game-changing for your business. And this is super simple to do. So let me show you how I use ChatGPT in this way for my business so that you can model it and steal it for your business. By the way, I put a link below this video here that has the prompt framework, everything I'm about to take you through so that you can take it and use it for your business, basically copy and paste. I've also got on that link there, 31 different business frameworks with descriptions of each and their utility for online businesses. So uh, click that link, you can go get these framework and also what I'm about to share with you. Let's start with Hermosi's $100 million leads, lead magnet creation framework to get some awesome lead magnet ideas. So I'm gonna share my screen with you here. Here's how you would set up the prompt. So the first thing you wanna do when you're setting up your prompt to use a business framework, actually whenever you're setting up any prompt, you wanna make sure that you give ChatGPT or Gemini or Claude or whatever AI that you're using a role to play. So in this example here, if we're gonna be using Hermosi's lead magnet creation framework, I'm just gonna start this out by saying, you're an, you are an innovative and visionary AI strategist with a deep understanding, I should say of, Alex Hermosi's lead lead magnet creation framework from his book, $100 million leads. So I'm not gonna read this whole um, this whole role part here. Again, I have this for you if you wanna check out the link below the video, I've got all this for you. But you can see here, I'm setting it up right from the get-go that I want ChatGPT to give me 
the output through the lens of this framework here. The next thing you wanna do in your prompt is you wanna give ChatGPT the task to do. So in this case, we wanna get lead magnet ideas. And again, we want to be referencing Hermosi's lead magnet creation framework to do this task. So I say, leveraging all of your expertise and knowledge, generate five innovative lead magnet ideas for the business using name of framework. Then, and again, I'm not gonna read through all of this, but the next section I like to include in writing the prompt is rules to follow, or this might be criteria, same, same thing. You'll notice the first bullet point here is start by thoroughly understanding Hermosi's lead magnet creation framework, okay? Then I've got other rules to follow. The next part of the prompt is where you want to give it context or background information that will give it better understanding for what exactly that you're looking for. So this is where I'll put in my type of business, what I do in the business, the target audience. And for this one here, I want it to be very specific with Hermosi's lead magnet creation framework. So I actually listed out all the different characteristics of this framework. You wouldn't necessarily have to do this because ChatGPT or Gemini should know what this framework is. And again, I'll show you another example of where we ask ChatGPT about a specific business framework to sort of get us started going through this process. But within this context section, I've included all the information about, you can see I'm still going here all the way down to here. This is all context about the specific framework. And then in the, as I mentioned before, the final part of the, and this can go earlier in the context section, but I've included the audience, the target audience, because obviously we want lead magnet ideas that are very specific, relevant, and most helpful to our target audience. So I wanna make sure that we include that in the context section of our prompt. Then in the final section of the prompt, this is where we put constraints. So we wanna make sure that we're giving very specific directions to ChatGPT. And so all I'm really saying here is I'm ensure that each lead magnet idea is based on the above framework. So I'm referencing back to the framework again, and I've done that through every step of the prompt here. So now that we've got our prompt, I wanna show you the type of output that ChatGPT generated from this prompt. Okay, so here we are inside of ChatGPT. I am using ChatGPT4. I could probably use ChatGPT 3.5 for this, but I like for this type of leveraging a framework in the prompt, I like to use ChatGPT 4 for this. So at the top here, you can see this is that entire uh, prompt that I just took you through. And then this is the response that ChatGPT has given me. By the way, I just, I added into the prompt that I want the output to be in the format of a table in Markdown so that it's super easy to copy and paste. So I could literally just copy this and stick it into a Google Sheet to start working with it. But as you can see here, it's given me five different lead magnet ideas and then a brief explanation and description of that lead magnet idea through the lens of Hormozy's lead magnet creation framework. And I think these are really good ideas. AI efficiency audit toolkit, customizable AI integration roundup, AI tools for business enhancement video course, the AI profit maximization workbook, et cetera. And let's just say that I really like this AI profit maximization workbook idea. Well, I could literally go through step by step in creating that exact lead magnet right inside of ChatGPT. It's a little bit outside the scope of this video, but we've got some great lead magnet ideas using Hormozy's business framework of creating lead magnets taken from his $100 million leads book. And let's just say that you don't like any of these ideas. Well, you could ask ChatGPT, you could say, I now want you to give me five more ideas different from the above. And in like one minute, it's given me five brand new ideas that I actually kind of like better than that first go round. So again, if I decide on, let's just say the AI custom solution planner, I can go through a bunch of steps right here within ChatGPT. I could even do it within this chat to create 
this actual lead magnet. Now let's look at another example. Let's say that you are considering adding a new offer to your business and you want it to really stand out from your competition, be super innovative and boost your profitability in the process. Again, let's use a business framework to come up with some ideas. You could ask ChatGPT to use, for example, the blue ocean strategy to come up with offer ideas for this. By the way, kudos to Rob Lennon, who I believe is where I first saw this prompt, a version of this prompt. I have since iterated on it to something I like a bit better. So here's the prompt and we're doing something very similar to what we did in using Hermosi's lead magnet creation framework where we are starting off by giving it a role and right off the bat, we're mentioning the business framework that we wanna use. So I'm saying you are an innovative and visionary AI strategist with a deep understanding of the pioneer migrator settler framework and blue ocean strategy. The pioneer migrator Migrator Settler Framework is within Blue Ocean Strategy. So I'm telling ChatGPT right off the bat that I want it to have a deep understanding of this business framework. Then once we get down to the task section, I'm telling it, leveraging all of your expertise, craft 12 innovative offer ideas for the business. And I'm using my own business. This is what I do for my business using Blue Ocean's Pioneer Migrator Settler Map Framework. Uh, it's a mouthful. Ensuring to include three creative and three compelling and three novel and unexpected concepts. And just like before, I go through the rules to follow. Then we get to the context section where I'm sharing about my business, who I serve, the target audience. And then I'm giving a little bit of background information on the Pioneer Migrator Settler Map Framework, telling ChatGPT what exactly it is. And then finally, I have a couple of constraints that I want ChatGPT to work within. So again, let's go back over to ChatGPT and I'll show you the output. Okay, so here again is that complete prompt that I just took you through. And this is the output that ChatGPT just gave me through the lens of the Pioneer Migrator Settler Map Framework and the Blue Ocean Strategy. And it breaks it down by Pioneer, Migrator, and Settler Ideas. And it even explains what those things are. Pioneer is innovative and Blue Ocean. Migrator is improvements on existing ideas as the Blue Ocean Strategy, I believe, calls the Red Ocean. And then Settler is the tried and true concepts. And so it gives four different ideas is within each one of these, any of these could be potentially great new offers to my business. Just like in the lead magnet example I showed you before this one, I could choose one of these and I could literally continue to flesh out the offer idea and create much of the offer right here in ChatGPT all within this same chat if I wanted to. Again, the reason that I asked it to give me table format in Markdown, number one, it's super easy. To, it's nice and organized. Organized. And then the other reason is I can very easily copy and paste this over into a Google Sheet, a Google Doc, into Notion or wherever I want to put it. And then lastly, just like in the lead magnet example, if I don't like any of these ideas, I can simply ask it to come up with five additional ideas that are different from the ones that is already given me. And for this other example, earlier I talked about having ChatGPT do a SWOT analysis for my business. And let's just say that I've heard of a SWOT analysis. I've heard how helpful it can be for a business, but I actually have no idea what an actual SWOT analysis is. But you do know that you need some strategic analysis and insight for your business. Something's not right and you wanna dive into it. So because maybe we don't really know what a SWOT analysis is, we can ask ChatGPT about it. Instead of having to write out a whole prompt, we can ask ChatGPT about it. So I'm gonna ask ChatGPT, do you know what a SWOT analysis is? Cool, so it just answered what a SWOT analysis is. So I can take this, I can learn more about the SWOT analysis, and I can now say, I want you to do a SWOT analysis on my online business. And then we can see what it says. Uh, let me do that. I'll, I'll talk through what I'm typing. So now I can say, great, I now want you to do a SWOT analysis 
on my online business. So it should prompt me for information that it needs to do the SWOT analysis. Let's see what it says. And it says, sure, I can help with that. Please provide me with some details about your online business, including the following, the nature of your business and the products or services you offer, your target market, any specific strengths, et cetera. So then all I would have to do is I could just answer the question. So I help online businesses use AI. So now I've answered each one of these questions to allow ChatGPT to do the SWOT analysis for me. So for example, the nature of the business and the products or services you offer, I help online businesses. So I answer that question, the target audience, any specific strengths that you believe your business has. Uh, yes, I've run my business for over a decade, generated multiple millions of dollars in the process. I also started a podcast called The Art of Online Business. And after 13 million downloads, sold that podcast. So you wanna make sure that you include any differentiators there for you and your business. Then any weaknesses you're currently aware of. Honestly, I have so much I wanna share that I do believe that it's slowing me down because it's a lot. Um, then external opportunities and potential external threats. So basically you can just answer those questions and then hit return and see what it comes back with. So here's a table format. I actually added, I went back and edited in. Can you make sure the output is in the table format using Markdown? So here's my SWOT analysis of my own business broken down by strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So you can go through this information for your own business and find some amazing analysis. And again, the idea here is to not necessarily be okay with this initial output. Let's say that you want to dig into, you got five opportunities here. Let's say you wanted to dig into one of them. Well, you could ask ChatGPT to flesh out one of those opportunity ideas, and that will give you some amazing insight, ideas, analysis on opportunities that you have to grow your business. So as you can see here, you can get some super powerful analysis, business ideas, insights, strategies about your specific business using these powerful business frameworks within your prompts. I've just shown you three. In the link below, I share a link to a Google Sheet where I put together 31 different business prompts, and that is just a fraction of the opportunities that you have with a number of business frameworks that are out there that you can use within your ChatGPT prompts. And here's a really cool thing. As you start to do this, you can take it even a step further and start incorporating business frameworks into custom GPTs that you create to use in your business. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be getting into in the next video here on the channel. So I wanna invite you to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you like this video, hit that like button. Also, leave a comment or question below in the comment section, and I'm happy to answer it for you. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in that next video. Boom.